thing that you are running from is an evil thing. Because if something is pursuing you, it is because your spirit or your, or your consciousness, your higher, your, your higher eater, your energy is activated. That's why you have knowledge. That something, something, that's why you have knowledge to run. Because something is telling you that you are running from is evil or is bad. So that's your soul. Your soul has conscious, consciousness. Now, does your spirit ask consciousness? Well, let's see. Because you have to know what the soul is and the spirit is. And how these things are being traded. That's why it tells about Babylon trading souls. Because the, the, because the fallen angels know the, the power of the soul. They know, they know the authority. They know the frequency of the soul. The equilibrium of the soul and the spirit. They know that the soul has a higher frequency when it comes to energy. Or, or consciousness, or mind, or the ability, the ability to think than your spirit. Your soul has more higher, higher consciousness than your spirit. They know that. That's why you, your soul and your spirit work together in your dream. Your soul and your spirit work to get together in your dream. And also, another spirit or the breath. That's why some people in their spirit, in their spirit or in their dream, they rebuke. They call for a higher spirit to, to do what? To fight for them. You have to understand the soul, the spirit, and the, uh, another spirit. That another spirit can be, can be the Holy Spirit or demons. So, so, so you are not enchanting or calling, okay, a higher spirit to fight for you. That, that, that calling, that higher spirit can be what? A Holy Spirit, which is for the Most High God, or a demon, which is on the fallen angels. So I'm showing you the difference there. But your soul gives you the will or the desire, like I've shown you in the short short concordance, to choose. Or the mind. Your soul helps your spirit to think higher in a higher level. What should I do in this state? You understand what I'm saying? So when your soul gives you that decision, your soul will not say activate, activate what? Activate the higher spirit. Call upon the most high God. Solomon, Solomon understood that. That's why when God visited him, he, he enchanted, he requested for the what? He, re, he requested for the higher spirit, which is wisdom, to be able to do what? To judge the people. Because Solomon already has a soul and a spirit in him already. And a flesh to, to walk on the earth. So that it will, it will be visible to everybody. But he needs the, 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 but, but he needs the, the, another spirit, okay, to make the right decision. Because without that another spirit, you cannot make the right decision. Even though you have a soul that gives you the power of which to choose. But without the another spirit, you cannot know what to choose that is good or bad. This thing is, this thing is, this thing is good. This thing is bad. Okay, I have, I have the will to choose. But how do you know that this thing is, is the good one and this thing is the bad one? You need that another spirit which is wisdom or the breath. You are saying that's what you see in parables that breath or that or that another spirit is described as a wind or a breeze or as a breath. But it's actually a spirit. But in parable, it's being used as a breath or as a wind. I will show you that at the end. Be patient. That's why, that, that's why this lesson is titled Wonders of a Highest Creation, the Breath of Life. It's, it's full of mystery because the kingdom is so. I'm not the one that says Christ said it himself. Christ told his disciples, for it is given unto you to understand the mysteries, mysteries in plural, of the kingdom. Because Christ is telling you that the kingdom to get here is full of mysteries. Our mysteries are things that are hard to be understood. But this Christian think that 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 the, 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 the scripture is just so so ordinary. It's not like that, my 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 my, my brethren. It's not like that. It's a it's a book of puzzle. It's like a tough puzzle, a tough one. Okay, God did it. God did it that way intentionally. Because God wants to know those that will do what? Activate, that will do what? Request. And I begin, I begin to ask questions. Because it's all disciples did that. They ask questions. 
That's why Christ and Abus came and asked him, Master, they, they, didn't fear, they, they did not fear. I said, Christ will kill me. Because Christ told them to do so. So they told Christ, Master, what will be the, what will be the, the sign of your coming? And what will be the end of the world? Tell us. Not be so. Of, 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 of course they fear Christ, but they were not, they, they were, they were not afraid to ask questions. According to the flesh. That's what Christ was showing us there. Because it was in the flesh. So he was showing us there, don't be afraid to ask questions. The, even the toughest question. If one pastor, if one pastor don't give you the answer, go and go and seek. That's what Christ says, seek and you will find it. People don't want to seek. They think that he's seeking and the asking and the, and the knocking is about money or, 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 or riches of this world. No. That's not what Christ is saying there. If someone does not give you the answer, go to the next person. That's why Christ told the children of Israel, I have left for me 7,000 of, of the 7,000 prophets of the children of Israel, all the news that have not bowed down to bow, nor kiss him. So, so the most I go have them throughout the forms of the earth. Go and find them. I want to find them. Ask them question. Those ones will show you the, those ones that are that are few. In thousands, but still few. Because this one is billions. But there are thousands, and God scattered them throughout the whole earth, including here in Nigeria. They are here. That's why Christ says, seek and you will find them. <laughs> They will tell you things about me, that mystery, that, that mystery that you are looking for, that answer. But people have eyes, they cannot see. They have ears, they cannot hear. They have heart, but they don't understand it. That's what Christ is also saying here. <laughs> because for them, it is not giving. Let's read. Wonders of our creation. The breath of life on this about lesson. Read. Uh, just to read the precept. Let's read. Hmm? Let's read, let's read. Okay, the book of Ezekiel 13, verse 22. Mm -hmm. Because with lies you have made the, the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and strengthened the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Do you just hear that? Do you, do you, do you just hear, read, read that part again. In the book of Ezekiel 22. 22. Mm -hmm. Because with lies, ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because with lies, you have teached the people who lies, you have made the heart of the righteous to be sad. Yes? Whom I have not made sad. Whom I have not made sad. Uh huh. And strengthen the hands of the wicked. And then you, you begin to strengthen the hands of the wicked that need repentance. Read. That he should, he should not return from his wicked. So instead of you to correct the wicked person, you are even blessing him the more, so that that wicked person will continue his wickedness and not come back to me to repent. Just because of your own selfish interest. By promising him life. Then you are prom promising the person life. You will live. God will bless you. You will prosper. Or, or, or you, you will live long. Is that what they say? Yes. They say that today. You will live long. But yet, the, the person they are praying for to live long is not keeping the commandment. This is what the Moses are addressing. That's why he, he chose Ezekiel. Go and warn them for me. All these fake pro prophets that are telling my people, okay, that this thing, this thing is the truth. Meanwhile, it's a lie. That they are telling the wicked to believe. Meanwhile, they will die. Then, then, then they, they will tell those that do what is right that they die the one that will die. Okay, and they will, they will set up the righteous one that they are the wicked ones. God said, look, I have, a, I have a problem with you. I have a controversy with you. Because, because you, can, you can have so many prophets, but God, God, God has the chosen one among them. That's why God chose Ezekiel in this course. Read. Is that everything there? Okay, the book of uh, 1323. Uh -huh. Therefore, you shall see no more vanity, mm -hmm. no divine divination. Mm -hmm. For I will deliver my people out of your hand, mm -hmm. and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Now give me the book of Revelation.
Chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Let's read. I want to show you that even your spirit on its own, okay, has its own conscious, conscious state, but it works together with your, with your soul. Let's read. In the book of Revelation, so verse 1. After this, I look and behold, mm -hmm. the door was open in heaven. Mm -hmm. And the first voice which I heard mm -hmm. was at the twelve of a trumpet talking with me. Mm -hmm. We said, Come up hither. So I heard a voice saying, Come up hither. Mm -hmm. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And I will show you things which must be hereafter. Read. Two. And immediately I was in the spirit. And immediately I was in the spirit. Uh -huh. And behold. And behold. A throne was set in heaven. A throne was set in heaven. So John's spirit went into the heaven and he was conscious of everything that he saw there. Is that what so? That's my point here. Genesis 1 to 6. In the, keep this verse. So, book of Genesis 1 to 6. Read. And God said, And God said, Let us make man in our image. So, let us make man in our image. God is a spirit that is his image. So, every man has a spirit in him. Mm -hmm. After our likeness. After our likeness. Uh huh. And let them have dominion. And let them have dominion, let them rule. So I'll show you what that rulership means. Okay, through Solomon. Let's read. Over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves right upon the earth. So God said, have dominion over every living thing that moves upon the face of the earth. Because Adam and Eve were not alone in Eden. Have dominion over every single thing. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. Re replenish or repeat or replace what I have destroyed. That's what replenish means. Because Adam, Adam was not the first to walk on the face of the earth. That's why he told them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish or replace or repeat. Repeat, repeat means go all over again. What I have done. What I have made, what I, what I have made before. I have destroyed it in my, in my fierce anger in Jeremiah 4, verse 22 to, 22 to 25. So therefore, Adam and Eve replenish what I have destroyed. He told Noah the same thing in, in, in Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Meaning repla replace what I have destroyed. But when he told, when he told Noah to replace it, we are, we, are there, we are there not other beings on the earth. There we are. So he sent it to with Adam. When he told Adam to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth or replace the things that have destroyed because there were other beings on the earth. But those beings were the Nephilim. Just like during Noah's time, there were Nephilim on the earth. They made it after the flood. So those are the ones the most High is telling Adam and Eve have dominion over everything that move upon the face of the earth. But how can Adam have dominion over those things that move upon the face of the earth if that breath is not breath in him? Because the reason why the monster does not choose those beings, because those being does not have the spirit in him. It's true spirit. When I mean the true spirit, I mean the Holy Spirit in them. So God did not choose them even though they were before Adam. Let me give you an instance. Give me the second Ezra uh, 6, verse 56. I think that's what I want. Second Ezra 6, verse 56. And Jubilee, Jubilee 3, verse 20. Okay, the book of uh, second Ezra 6, verse 56. Second, second address 6 verse uh, okay 56 yeah let's read as for the other people mm -hmm. which also come of Adam mm -hmm. that was their firstborn their only begotten and their fervent lover are given into their hands 59 if the world now be made for our sake why do we not possess our inheritance with the world if what read it again read it again from, from top if the world now be made for our sake why no start from the top Okay, the book of the second draft 57. 657. Mm -hmm. And now, Lord, mm -hmm. behold, this mm -hmm. Eden, mm -hmm. which have ever been reputed as nothing, mm -hmm. have begun to be lords of ours mm -hmm. and to devour us. Yes. 58. But we, the people. But we, your people. Whom thou hast called their first.